What's good, Tech Family? Urban Tech Reviews, and today I'll be reviewing the Chisona Multiple Device Bluetooth Keyboard. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm gonna read you a couple things on the box. We're gonna hop right in this. It has seven color adjustable backlights, uh, scissor switch, better touch response, easy access to tablet and phones and swipe gestures, and a wide compatibility one keyboard for up to five devices. All right, the ticket on one of these is 48 bucks. Oh, no! And it's compatible with iOS, it's compatible with Mac, it's compatible with Windows, it's compatible with Android, it's compatible with all that good stuff, all right? Let's crack it open and see what you get. See? You get your keyboard, uh, USB Type-C to USB Type-A charging cable, manual. And that's it. All right, let's check out the keyboard. This is what it looked like. Okay, you got a slot for a um, a, a, a iPad or a tablet or something like that. Also, you put a cell phone on there or whatever else you want to put on there, whatever device you want to control. You got a, a bunch of uh, keys and you got your little. Uh, you got, um, what do you call it, short keys or whatever they call it right there. You got them quick keys, and you got numbers on this side. Um, this is like a full-size full, full size keyboard. All right. On the back, you have uh, wireless off and Bluetooth. So wireless off and Bluetooth. And your charging uh, spot is back there as well. Up here, you have uh, Bluetooth 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then you have indicators up here to tell you what Bluetooth that you're connected to as well. All right, so it also comes with a uh, dongle to go into uh, whatever you need to, to plug it into, whether it's a TV or you know a PC or whatever you want to use it in, you can use this dongle too. So that will give you your fifth uh, option as far as connectivity. But uh, let's check this thing out and see what it's really like. So I'm going to turn it on and then I'm going to connect it to my iPad Pro right here. Um, so first off, let me let me put my iPad Pro in into uh, to, uh, the, the settings. Let me go to the settings of my iPad Pro. Uh, Bluetooth. Uh, all right, we there. And let me go into the settings. Well, let me turn the keyboard on. So... We're gonna turn it all the way to the left, which will probably be your right, and you get some lights popping on on there. Okay, and now we're gonna to check to see the connectivity on the iPad. So what you need to do to get it connected is hold one of the uh, four Bluetooth options, hold it in. I held in Bluetooth one, and you see it's flickering, uh, fast blue. And on my iPad, you see it says Bluetooth keyboard. Y'all see that on there? Bluetooth keyboard. And then I hit connect. And it says, ask me what I like to pair. I pair it. And now it's connected. All right, so you see on there, Bluetooth keyboard. You see that on there? It's connected. All right, so the iPad Pro doesn't fit in there long ways, but we'll try it. We'll try it this way. It, it ain't gonna work that way either. All right, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take the camera, switch the camera up, and then we'll check it out. So I tried to fit my iPad Pro in here, and as you see, it doesn't fit. And this way, it's just too flimsy to set it in there. So I'm gonna try the best way I can that you can see, so you can see what uh, I'm actually type in on here so go to a blank screen you see it right here and then i'll reach my hand through here and you see I'm actually typing okay so make that full screen so see you actually typing on that inner 
all right so you see that the keyboard does work it is pretty responsive you see how quick it is so it's, it's not like a delay or anything like that it actually works uh, exiting it out of here um, you see that I'm gonna show you that the uh, mute button works so this is me hitting the mute button you see mute pop up you see the volume down volume up uh, play I don't think I got anything queued up ready to go or nothing like that but um the uh, screen brightness you can turn down turn up um, so all of these keyboards work you gotta cut and, uh, all these keys work you gotta cut and paste up here uh, it's your Bluetooth uh, keys up there and whatever so in order to uh, change the uh, the lighting on here let me let me dim these lights real quick so if you want to change the lighting on the keyboard you see it's lit up and you can change it by type hitting an FM button and the shift will change your brightness so there's three brightness settings that's your brightest and to change the actual color you hit the hold the FN key and hit the enter button and that will actually change the colors on your keyboard okay so to connect it I'll show you how to connect it real quick I'll connect it to my uh, my phone as well so uh, go on the, the Bluetooth so first you want to press uh, the, the next Bluetooth that you want to go to so if you're on one you want to press two and then long press it and then when you long press it you'll get the blanking you see the blanking and then on here it pop up Bluetooth keyboard and you click it it ask you if you want to pair pair it and uh, now it's, it's connected you see Bluetooth keyboard up there connected so if I take you to my uh, my notes let me take you to my notes real quick and okay let me get you to a blank note all right so this is a blank note so I want to type this is my keyboard you see still responsive right there so definitely a super responsive keyboard no lag or anything you see that also you could put your uh, phone in here if you wanted to I don't feel like taking it out the case but you could put it in here and type on it from here and do all of that so really neat keyboard but uh, let me give you my final thoughts and then we're gonna get up out of here all right so my final thoughts on the chisona uh multiple device seven backlit keyboard colors uh my my final thoughts on this is that it's a, a nice keyboard um multiple uses you can uh put this i'll probably put this uh you know connected to a tv or something and then you know just have it uh for when i want to plug in a movie when i'm watching um you know amazon uh prime video or or something like that and i don't feel like using the remote and going back and forth and having to do all that crap i could just use this or i can use it for whatever you know what i mean if i want to use it for my ipad i could just throw my ipad on the stand get the typing on this get the typing on it so uh the the backlit keyboards well, the backlit uh, on the keyboard is nice. Um, I like the full size feature of the keyboard. The holder that it has is good. It doesn't fit my iPad Pro 12.9 inch, which was a little disappointing, but it will fit uh, smaller uh, iPad Pros, probably the 11 inch, and it will fit, you know, iPad minis, iPad Airs, and stuff like that. Um, solid keyboard, easy to connect. Um, easy to go through the features you know you can mute uh, your device if you want to mute it you can play uh, stuff you can turn down the, uh, the lights um, turn up the lights turn up the volume down the volume you could do basically everything from this keyboard um, that you need to do uh, you got some rubber stoppers on the back which gives it a little bit of, you know height if you want to uh, you know type at a, a different angle but um you know it, it's not gonna raise too much um, keyboard uh, it's, it's clicky kinda 
not super uh, quiet, not super loud. Um, this will be probably the maximum that I will want my keys to be. I'm not a, a fan of, of clicky keys. I don't like the hair that... I don't like the hair that I like mine to be nice and quiet. Um, but this is solid. This is solid. This is a nice purchase. Um, a lot of lights up here to tell you, you know, what you're doing. Um, no issues with this. So if you're looking for a Bluetooth keyboard, bang my line. Now, if you're looking for a Bluetooth keyboard, though, uh, check out this. Um, I'll leave a link in the description and I'll put a code in the uh, description for 15% off of one of these. So you can get 15% off of one of these with the link in my description. So make sure you tell them Urban Tech Review sent you. Um, but if you like this video or you just enjoy my content, you can let me know by clicking the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do that by clicking on the Android guy in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. If you're not following me on all my social media sites, all that information is available in the description. And as always, Beautiful people, peace to the next time.